All right, folks, so a few more weeds of the Stern household here. Uh, so this little guy, it's an annual plant. You can see it's got a very small root system. This is another member of the mustard family or Brassicaceae. Uh, this one is called Descarenia sophia. And in this case, uh, these down here aren't blooming, uh, but this one is. You can see just a teeny bit of yellow. The petals really don't open on this one, uh, but you can see the young fruits developing. All right, so here are the fruits. Each of these will have a few seeds in it. Um, this one, I believe, is mostly self-fertilizing. So the flowers don't become showy because they just immediately self-fertilize. The pollen from one flower will go on the uh, stigma of the same flower. This one, you know, you get tons of fruit set, lots of seed production for an invasive that's really beneficial. Uh, a couple other mustards, I actually pulled these out of my neighbor's lawn. Uh, this one is a pretty interesting one. You can see here from where I pulled it, you can see that the base, this is a rhizomatous mustard. So this one is a perennial and it forms these rhizomes. Um, these rhizomes help it spread out. So um, by having this rhizomatous growth, you get a nice big patch of these things growing all at once. Uh, this one you can actually see at least one flower open. Uh, if I can get it, maybe, with my fat thumbs, fat fingers. Uh, you see at least one flower open, the four petals characteristic of the Brassicaceae, four sepals, four petals, and then those nice uh, six stamens there. So this one is called Lepidium draba. Uh, the common name is white top because it's got this uh, kind of crown of white flowers up at the top. Again, most of these just in bud, uh, but you can see that nice white top there.